Yellowstone warning. Expert admits, we're down, as land swells around supervolcano. Yellowstone volcano could erupt at any time, a concerned scientist claims in a shocking documentary. This volcano, located in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, Montana and Idaho in the United States, has erupted three times in history 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. Scientists have previously revealed that in the event of an earthquake, it would take less than two weeks for a catastrophic reaction to occur that could potentially wipe out three quarters of the US. Now, experts are worried that another eruption will occur. Michio Kaku, a professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York, claims that another big blow is too late. The Yellowstone supervolcano will destroy America, Dr. Kaku says in a new YouTube documentary, echoing comments he first made on American television in 2016. He said, It's time for us. Forget Yogi Bear. Forget Old Faithful. He sat down above the sleeping giant. If you sleep next to an 800-pound gorilla, you monitor every burp and snore. If it happens, it could destroy the United States as we know it. Dr. Kaku revealed the land where the volcano is located had swollen 10 inches in the past year. This tells us that there is activity at the supervolcano which erupts approximately every 600,000 years. And the last eruption occurred 640,000 years ago, which is why we are so nervous. The cycle times are the same as today, so any vibrations, burps, or murmurs should be watched very carefully. Yellowstone's latest eruption produced about 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Jacob Lowenstern, a researcher with the U.S. Geological Survey in Vancouver, Washington, previously detailed how the latest catastrophic event may have occurred. He said, Typically these eruptions start, starting from a specific event, then get bigger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that made up the last Yellowstone eruption probably took just two weeks. This created an eruption column so large that it covered about 60% of the US with a thick layer of ash. If the same thing happens again, the land surface around Yellowstone National Park will rise and create a series of earthquakes. Then, after the eruption, a huge pyroclastic flow would flow across the park. This super-hot mixture of ash, lava and gas exceeds temperatures of 1000 C and can travel at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. They are thought to have spread more than 100 miles from Yellowstone, burying states like Wyoming, Montana, Idaho and Colorado in three feet of life killing volcanic ash.